Now, is politics and apathy really sinking Chennai as the city continues to grapple with the aftermath of record rainfall and prepares for the worst? Politicians are now busy bickering. Chief Minister M.K. Stalin has blamed the previous AIDMK government for the current mess. Meanwhile, Madras High Court has pulled up Chennai civic body for not being prepared for rains in Chennai. Let's have a look. A city crippled by floods. <laughs> Civic mismanagement exposed. The administration pulled up by the High Court. Now the political blame game. The ruling DMK and the unseated AIA DMK are at each other's throats as citizens suffer again. Chief Minister Stalin blamed the previous EPS government for misusing the smart city funds from the centre, particularly taking aim at former minister S.P. Verlumani. The AIA DMK was quick to hit back and defend Verlumani. They are imagining that that would have taken place in Edapati government also. It is not at all a fact. The cleanest chief minister who has carried out things with the full perfection is only Edapati Palanichami's government. Real money's achievements are being enviously seen by the DMK. That is why false cases against the real money. The Greater Chennai Corporation refused to be drawn into the political fight over the mess in the city. Not like to comment about anything about political content, but it is the endeavor of the local bodies everywhere to ensure that stormwater drains and infrastructure keeps on getting added. On Tuesday, the Madras High Court had pulled up the Greater Chennai Corporation, saying it had failed to take measures to tackle flooding. The High Court said the civic body had learnt no lesson from the devastating 2015 floods. Madras High Court Chief Justice Sanjeev Banerjee said it is such a pity that half the year the city is starved of water and for the rest of the year people are dying in water. This cannot be the condition of a leading state in the country. We have just taken over, uh, the, I have personally taken over just some time back only. Previous years, whatever all the infrastructure products have been taken up, we will inform the Honorable Court. Year after year, Chennai is witnessing the same story. Governments change, but the misery of people remains the same. The Madras High Court has warned authorities that it will take severe action if things are not set right. In fact, it has also directed the Department of Vigilance and Anti-Corruption to probe and submit a report within 10 days into claims of irregularities in giving civic contracts. With video Zivian, Pramod Madhav, Boy Today.